Welcome to Let's Talk Missions, This is How I Glyph, a series where we review scripts that have been written to automate very specific tasks in point-wise or the entire mission process. In this video, we're looking at Dimension Con from Splicings.Glyph. This glyph script helps users dimension connectors based on a set of prescribed spacing parameters. To run the script in point-wise, select Execute from the script menu and use the Open Save dialog window to navigate your local file system to select the appropriate script. Running the script launches a TK window that has controls allowing users to select a set of connectors, undo their selection, and prescribe a set of spacing parameters. The script also allows users to acquire these spacing parameters from an existing dimension connector. The script uses the length of a selected connector in conjunction with a set of spacing parameters to iteratively determine a suitable number of grid points that matches the set of spacing conditions provided. To demonstrate using this script, I have created a set of undimensioned connectors of varying length. Clicking the Select Connectors button in the script window prompts me to select the connectors I wish to dimension in either the display window or list panel. I'll select three of the connectors shown here and click Done. Clicking the Clear Selection button will undo the current active selection. The entry fields for DS1, DS2, and MaxDS allow users to explicitly specify the desired beginning, ending, and maximum spacing between grid points for each connector respectively. Alternatively, I can click the Acquire Parameters button, select another dimension connector in the Display window or List panel, and the entry fields for DS1, DS2, and MaxDS will be updated with the values corresponding to the chosen connector. Clicking Apply will calculate and apply the dimension and spacing for each connector using the prescribed spacing parameters in conjunction with the length of each connector while letting you continue with additional connectors. Clicking OK dimensions the selected connectors accordingly and exits the script. Clicking Cancel exits the script entirely without applying any changes. The color of each connector changes from green to cyan, indicating they have each been dimensioned, and I can look more closely at the grid point distribution on each by toggling on the display of their grid points. As an example of when dimensioning connectors based upon their spacing is useful, I have set up an Onera M6 wing model where I have applied an initial surface mesh consisting of isotropic triangles. In this specific example, I don't expect a lot of span-wise variation in flow properties. So using point-wise, I would like to leverage 2D T-Rex to efficiently resolve service curvature along the leading and trailing edges with anisotropic triangles. If I use an initial spacing along the root and tip connectors of 0.04 inches in order to resolve the curvature here, then the initial spacing on leading and trailing edge connectors should be set to match this value. I don't want anisotropic triangles to stretch beyond an aspect ratio of 20, so the maximum spacing between grid points along the leading and trailing edge connectors should be constrained to 0.8 inches. I can apply this particular grid point distribution along all of these connectors easily by running the dimension kind from spacing glyph script, selecting each of these connectors, entering 0.04 for both DS1 and DS2 parameters, entering 0.8 for the max DS parameter, and clicking OK. Each connector has been dimensioned accordingly, and a spacing of 0.04 set at the beginning and ending of each connector. Then I can select the domains, set up the requisite boundary conditions for 2D T-Rex, and initialize the domains. Once initialized, the domains include anisotropic triangles along both leading and trailing edges of the wing section that don't exceed an aspect ratio of 20. If you liked this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description.